What's up guys? Today in this video we got this go-kart for $420. And we're gonna see if we can get it ready for flight in 24 hours with all these parts. So the first part we're gonna change out is the uh, front shocks. Go. And then here is the shiny new external reservoir that we got. I think this should be a lot stiffer, which is like exactly what we needed because you can pretty much bottom these old ones out just by standing there. Exactly. The old shocks off. Let's get the new shocks on. And it already looks a whole lot better. So let's see how it is. That's crazy. Damn. That's like, we right. did this before and it just bounced. But now it just absorbed all of it. That's crazy. All right, what next? Um, next, I think we should uh, pull, the pull the engine and I'll start working on getting it all cleaned up. All right. So now I'm gonna start unbolting all the hardware to take off this engine so we can get it all cleaned up. Dude, what is that? So I went to remove this bolt right here. And for some reason, it's like under the motor mount. I guess the guy before us was too lazy to buy a new motor mount for this engine. And he just drilled a hole straight through it. So I just got all the uh, hardware loosened up for the engine. And now all I gotta do is pull it off. I think the seat's in the way, so we're gonna have to take that off of this. And just like that, the seat is off. Now that I've got the seat off and everything, there should be nothing else holding this engine in. Except the kill switch wire. All we gotta do is pull it off. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these to square edge. You can see how unsquare it is. I put the speed square up to it. Cut these square, I'll mark the center and make a couple dimple dies going all the way down. And then I'll be a good little piece to patch in right about here. All right guys, so I just finished drilling off these holes. Now it's time to put these uh, dimple dies in. So I'm just gonna, I could do the press, but since it's such thin metal, I'll probably just whack it with a dead blow. All right guys, so I just got the dimple dies punched into this and it is looking amazing. And it looks even better on the go-kart. So I think under is the best way to go. Throw it like that. It's obviously not perfectly squared up right now. Uh, it's obviously not welded, but I'm liking the looks of this a lot. So I just welded up this frame gusset. Pretty decent weld. I'm about to do it on the other side and it'll look way meaner. All right, 
Uh, so first, I'm gonna remove the blower housing, the gas tank, and the carburetor because under the gas tank, there's a few parts we need to clean up and we're also gonna paint this blower housing and starter uh, armature as well. All right, so first, I'm gonna remove the blower housing, the gas tank, and the carburetor because under the gas tank, there's a few parts we need to clean up, and we're also going to paint this blower housing and starter uh, army green as well. Okay. Alright, so now that I got this engine removed of uh, all the extra parts that are going to be in the way, it's time to clean up all this dirt and grime and just grossness. So I got the blower housing all cleaned up, and I'm just going to hit it with... Uh, some of the army green spray paint we got. And it's cool, we actually got like this uh, multi-tip. So I already tested it, like some of them will go like straight flat, some of them will go up and down, and then there's just a few normal selections you have too. So I got the uh, gas tank held on with zip ties because I couldn't find any wire, so um, it's a little bit, a little bit whack, kind of jerry-rigged, but there's nothing wrong with that. So just gonna hit it with some, some black spray paint so it doesn't look as crusty anymore, you know? So we just pulled up to Escondido Cycle Center. We're about to grab the tires because they mounted them for us. All right, so these are the new tires. And they're absolutely massive. We're upgrading from an 18 inch tire to a 22. So I'm just a little worried that we might like bend an axle or not have enough torque. But Tony's saying that we will be completely fine. And our main concern is that the tire will end up hitting either right here or right here. Cause when we were measuring it before, it seemed like it would hit it because like this is less than 11 inches from here to here i think we'll be fine but i'm not sure because the bending bending the axle is a little bit scary but yeah i don't want to spoil too much but i think we are planning on doing rear suspension in the upcoming video exactly. and i think we'll just add more axle mounts like probably two more one even closer to the wheel yeah so and then maybe leverage. maybe one more in the center too exactly i think we'll be good but all right. Here's the moment of truth, I guess. All right, let's see if they line up. I really, I feel like we're gonna have to do some chopping. I really hope not, but I wouldn't be too surprised if we did. Let's see. Yeah, I think it might hit up there. Dude. Dude, we got so close, but we're good. Oh my gosh. We got clearance, dude. Wow. These are, these are like probably the biggest tires we can get on here. Yeah, if we got These are sick. any bigger, it would for sure be hitting right there. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful that is. These are I some absolute cleats. The, I think we should throw the keyway in, lower it back down. I think we should too. I want to see what kind of stance we got going on. Exactly. Honestly, the width is about perfect. The front and rear tires line up very nicely. Wow. That's perfect. Wow. Oh my gosh, this thing's sitting so clean. It's beautiful. Like, this is such a crazy transformation already. Yeah, we're only about three and three hours and 10 minutes in. But, but look at that. That is just beautiful. Like, this is gonna have some crazy climbing capability. Yeah, basically suspension. Yeah, there's like, what is that? Like an inch of travel in the tire? Still pretty bouncy. That's why we're probably gonna need suspension because we're planning on just straight launching this thing. Yeah. And especially with two people in it, it's gonna be crazy. All right guys, next thing on the list is gonna be getting this torque converter on. We got a brand new 40 series. We've never messed with these 40 series before, but I think it'll be a huge upgrade from this old centrifugal clutch with these long bolts in it. This thing just looked like it was on its way out. So, we decided to be responsible to go for a 40 series. Oh yeah. Especially with those big tires, I just don't think that clutch would have a good time. I think that, what are those, 23s? Yeah, like 22 to 23s, like, 
There's just no way I'd be able to push it. Yeah, no. there's there's no way. We probably burn the clutch up. The sprocket's not that big compared to the wheels, so we're probably gonna have some pretty good gearing for a torque converter, but horrible for a clutch. So we made this flange and welded all around it. The welds aren't that great, but I mean, they'll definitely hold and they should seal. And it looks perfect. Yeah, it should line up looks great. Looks great too. All right guys, so the engine's pretty much done other than the exhaust. I got only, all this stuff done. There's only one more part that this engine needs. Clean little Go Power Sports sticker. Oh yeah. This video is not sponsored. Yeah, we're not but sponsored, but we do we wish. love Go Power Sports. Always got to represent. I mean, it just it just looks so clean. Yeah, got some clean stickers. Yeah, like we said, not sponsored, but <laughs> Go Power Sports. If you're seeing this, we would appreciate it. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so I went home and picked up this brake caliper and master cylinder, but the brake line is a little too short to fit where the mount, like the bracket is for the current brake. So I'm going to make a new bracket that fits and then weld it on the other side of the uh, disc. So right now it's on the back right there and I'll probably put it somewhere right here just so that the line only has to go right here because I could, I was trying to run the line through here but the, the chain is gonna be ran right here and I don't want the line too close to the chain. So I'm gonna be putting the caliper on the front of the disc and then the line should only have to go right to there. You can see here how many times we did the tabs. Like we did one and then that didn't work and then we did two and this didn't work and then we finally got on the third try. And each time we had to grind down this whole piece with the angle grinder and then get out these holes with the drill, like it just sucked. So we're just over here bleeding the brakes. Absolutely my least favorite thing to do. Look at this setup. We got the whole frame stripped down and uh, taped off and everything. And now we're gonna throw a tie down over that pillar and hoist this thing in the air. So. All right, let's see this. Does he have the skills? Dude, you got so close to breaking that light, dude. So we got the uh, frame all hoisted up to the roof with toe straps and a uh, wire. We're gonna hit this with some uh, Hunter Green. It's got a nice little five-in-one tip right there. Oh yeah. All right guys, so we just laid on a couple coats of paint. We got some green with a couple of black accents. It's a little bit of overspray, but we'll fix all that once it's dry. Um, it's looking really good. We just have a couple more little coats to do on spots where it looks like it needs it. And then she'll be ready to reassemble. Still have six hours and 45 minutes on the clock. <laughs> wow. Whoa. My name. Shout out to Scratch it. So these front wheels and tires came off of an old uh, Chinese quad I had, and they're looking old and tired, and you know, WD-40 is always a good cleaner for some old, tired, black plastic and rubber paint. It 
Look at that, dude. Looks brand new. Paul's over here scrubbing them. Oh, yeah. Getting them super good looking. They look way better than this. They're just dirty and faded, but that WD-40 really just shines it up. And with these shocks and army green with the black accents, it's looking very beautiful. Very beautiful. Kid you not, the second Tony put the back tire on, this thing just fell from the sky. Like, I wish we had got that on video, but it just straight up like Fortnite dropped in. That was crazy. <laughs> we got this thing on the ground and it's looking absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna set up a time lapse while we assemble this thing. And we will see you guys back in probably about an hour.